Hey, welcome to the Canada Get Back to Normal video. A video that anyone can easily pass around to explain what's being asked. Now while some truckers that went to Ottawa have certainly made this ask go viral, this isn't all about truckers anymore. This is now about all Canadians. Yes, even you. So before we get started, let's get one thing straight right from the beginning. This isn't about race. This isn't about supremacy. This isn't about sex. This isn't about marginalized people. This isn't about fringe. This isn't about anti-vax. This isn't about irresponsibility. This isn't about some occupation. Hey, you might have conflated protest in recent years with those kinds of things, but this is not that. This is good old dissenting against our government protest. A peaceful protest. A shovel in the sidewalks, cleaning up all the garbage, dancing in the streets, kids in bouncy castles. Peaceful protest. And if you notice, it's people of all races, all groups, all creeds, all political leanings. Because this is about all Canadians. Again, yes, even you. This is not hard, people. This is about us getting back to normal. So from now on, if you hear anybody making claims about Nazis or racists or anti-vaxxers or fringes, it's dumb. They just don't know how to counter-argue a protest seeking our freedoms back. So that's fine. They can try that. But everybody can see it. And we all know it deep in our gut. Come on. Even those slinging the BS know it. So we good? All clear now? Great, let's move on. Why is it time to go back to normal? Well, first of all, it's been two years. Look, Canadians have tried. Damn, we've tried. Nobody could ever say we didn't try. We tried for two years, giving up living normally in an effort to fight this virus. Look at everything we did. Look at all the sacrifices we made. Even 90% of us got vaccines. 90%. We did this because we were all in this battle together. Frankly, it's impressive that we all came together this much. Look, we thought it could work. We truly thought we could extinct this bastard virus out of our lives. We thought that was the end game. We really did. But look at where we're at now. Two years later, and the virus is pretty much going around as it wishes. We need to face up. It's not going anywhere for a very, very long time. Heck, even our own prime minister's family all recently had COVID themselves, and they're triple vaxxed. Jesus Christ, boys. So what are we expected to do now? The world was lucky to see the invention of wonderful medication revolutionary medication that gives our immune system practice with a synthetic version, then our immune system can learn to fight off the synthetic version, then voila, our bodies are better at fighting off the real virus if we catch it. That's the science. Isn't that great? It's reduced the deadliness of this virus a whole lot and has thus probably saved the lives of thousands of Canadians. But there is a problem. Let's get real. The vaccine is far from the silver bullet that we hoped it could be. That revolutionary medication isn't really a vaccine like people are still treating it as. Remember when we got our vaccine as little kids? Vaccines deliver immunity. Immunity means that once you get the shot, you're immune for the rest of your life. And then you're taken right off the table as a potential host for any illness. But we got to snap out of it. Unfortunately, that is not where we are at right now. It's great that we have the medicine we've got, but we're seeing millions of people, including Canada's government, support ongoing restriction policy as if we have an immunity delivering virus extincting vaccine. Clinging to that idea of an end game that if Canada could just get to 100%, that will beat this bastard into extinction and then go back to normal. We are continuing to make sure Canadians get vaccinated because this is how we get through this pandemic. Sorry, beating the virus that way is not going to happen right now. Honestly, likely for decades. Sure, we're slowing transmission down. Great. We can even keep doing vaccines when we go back to normal. But that doesn't make it all go away. Getting 10% more people to vaccinate isn't going to change anything much. 
100% vaxxed is not the promised land. Let's be honest with ourselves. Where to go from here is not an answer that science can give us. This is a principled, brave, adult decision of how we want to live going forward. Just remember, if you're so good and so virtuous to get the medicine, you are protecting your immune system, nobody else's. You can still catch the virus and transmit the virus. So it's not like the medicated are the responsible and safe Canadians and the unmedicated are the irresponsible and unsafe Canadians. Nope, vaxxed or unvaxxed, we're still all potentially dangerous. I mean, whether individual immune systems are pre-trained or not, it should limit our individual aims or life paths, right? Which is the basic philosophical point that Canada is at right now. There is no end game to wait for. It's time to go back to normal. I mean, what's the alternative? Do we just go on like this? Going to three years? Five years? Ten years? What are we waiting for exactly? I mean, we need to ask the people in charge, what are the exact parameters that must be met, set by the Canadian government, to release everything back to normal? What? Take notice, there is never an answer to that question. That should bother any Canadian. Does it bother you? Most Canadians need to revisit and reassess where we're at right now. Because we basically have two choices as a nation right now. We can live all restricted, limited, mandated, masked, with the virus on planet Earth, or live normally, live free, travel completely normally, and we simply all individually choose our protection levels. Also with the virus on planet Earth, we gotta choose. It's time for the latter. And think about it, damn, won't it be great to travel freely to see each other without being tested like diseased lab rats? To get all our businesses to open back up freely at whatever capacities they want? To get this economy back roaring again and enjoying everything our towns and cities have to offer? Getting back on a path to recover all these lost jobs? And getting all those trucks back on the road where they proudly deliver everything we need and it'll destroy that supply chain problem forever? What exactly are we waiting for now? Look, it's time for all Canadians to simply snap out of our haze give the middle finger to this frickin' virus and take back our lives. Yes, as a country, we're going to accept a little risk, it's gonna take a little bravery, and just decide that we're going to live free, together. Canadians are damn well strong enough to do this. And hey, when things go back to normal and you still wanna take vaccination for the rest of your life, go for it. You still wanna go out in public and wear a mask, go for it. If you want to keep your business limited or closed, go for it. See, that's the great thing about freedom. You can still do you. Protect yourself as you see fit. Run your business as you see fit. Be in public in any way you see fit. Heck, stay home every day if you want. You do you. It's okay. We can do this. To sum up, look, we tried. Damn, we tried. Two damn years we tried. Like I said, nobody can say that we didn't. This is what the protest in Ottawa is about. Because it's time. This is the ask. Back to normal. Now.